Welcome back to the Vino Rod. I'm Robert. Well, I'll get into the process of what I'm working on today. So, when I'm putting this car together with these, these barrel staves, you can see on the profile there that it has a little dome. So when you glue these together, they all have domes to them. So what I've done is I've gone through, the first process was taking a belt sander to it and knocking it down, but I'm finalizing it here, where, I don't know if I have a good enough straight edge, but you can see the profile is pretty good now, so that's part of it, um, but on the inside, what I've done here with the uh, seat backs is I've put some body filler on them and straightened them out. So, I'll get you over here and we'll take a look at that. Well, so I've added some body filler on that. And uh, got it sanded out, 80 grit. So my next step is I wanna go ahead and finish the top, get that skim coated and filled in and then I'll put a top coat on there to fill in all the little pinholes and then I'll hit it with some primer. But I wanna finish this jam here first and the other side. So I wanna blend all this together before I prime it. A lot of people were commenting about the seat cushions. So I'll give you a little, a, a little look, better look. So it's just a piece of uh, three quarter inch plywood on the back. Okay, so this vinyl. So uh, I'll fit this in and then I'll get you, well, So yes, that fits in pretty nicely. And then there's a little bit better view of the putty. So it worked out really well. Okay. Well, like I was saying, you can kind of get an idea here where, where the stave was where that's where the lid would fit into the, the stave and so I need to put a some body filler on all those areas there I'll hit it with some uh, oh a semi uh, flat black, I guess. That's what I'll end up painting the car at this point. That's what I'm thinking. So I want to go ahead and finish that with some uh, body filler. Kind of gives you a good idea how I use that. You can. Kind of get a good view of the barrel staves.
that is just a linseed oil that I've put on them, and that black part is where they'll char the inside of the barrel. But I really like the uh, color of that. Alrighty. Well, as you can see here, I've got myself a chainsaw. I want to get it running. So I've asked for some help from a, fo a fellow uh, YouTube uh, over at Shop Cat Industries. So when I contacted him on Instagram, which under the same name, Shop Cat Industries on Instagram, you can find him. Pharrell was telling me that first thing that I want to do is look for spark first. So that's what I'm going to try to achieve is, is to see if this thing will get spark. I don't have no idea that the condition of this thing, um, I'm trying to get it running for the first time. I've never used it. Um, so I'm going to, have Chop Cat help me get this thing ready. All right, so let me uh, get started on trying to find spark on this fella. Now I need to turn this back over to uh, ShopCat and see where I can go from there. Yep. Oh, hey. Light just came on. Let's turn it on first. You see, you see why I need some dang help? Yeah, I'm holding the end of the you know, because I'm just not sure if I have a good grounding surface, but uh, holding on to the end of the plug. Yeah, okay, pretty sure. Pretty sure I'm getting no spark. Okay, Shop Cat, I'm going to get a hold of you again. All right, there you go. So I've got ShopCat's channel pulled up. ShopCat Industries. So uh, let's scroll down and we'll see what his latest video is. He, uh, he just happened to be working on a chainsaw. I watched that video yesterday. So uh, you can go over to ShopCat Industries and uh, Check his channel out. He works on a lot of uh, small engines, very various things, uh, weed whackers, chainsaws, little tractors, little lawnmowers, riding lawnmowers. But just like I said, quite a variety of uh, small engine stuff. So, uh, actually, uh, found uh, Shop Cat over at uh, Bad Chad's videos. There's quite a crew over there that uh, follow along. You can find him on Instagram too, um, under the same name, Shop Cat Industries. He's got a uh, Instagram page. So uh, 
head over there and follow both of those. Um, so appreciate it, Shopcat. So as you know, I have no spark. So I'm gonna message you and uh, let you uh, give me a, a, the next idea on the process of getting this chainsaw running. All right. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next week.